We're back in uh, my microphone fucking died land. That's, uh, that's all right. That's good. Um, try that again. Anyways. Uh, get what I was saying now. <laughs> but it's time to get back into this. So we are at the end point of the game here. We, uh, we are very close to tracking down who was the person who hired um, Buddy to kill my brother. We've given the text, the, the Buddy's phone with the text messages to um, MK from the core. And he's gonna figure shit out. And, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so we have three more territories to take over, one last crew. Uh, the entire west side of the map is done. We also have two more bonus crates to find. I have a feeling they're kind of... Uh, they're, they're somewhere. I don't know where, but they're somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to start off with a storage area in Scotty. Part of the Crimson Crew, and then there's also Clutch in the Junkyard. 19 races between the two uh, areas, so that's going to take a while. But, before we get started with that, um, let's get my crew situated here. So, we have Damon and Vampira. I mean, uh, Jenna. Sure. Um... Well, let me look at my uh, available crew members here. Because I think I want... I want my full crew to have, like, subcategories. Uh, Alright. Layla, you're, you're, you're coming on. I like you, Jenna, but you don't have a, a sub ability, so. Meh. Um. What else do I have? I have Turtle. I have Marcus as a fixer. Sorry, Pip. Again, I'll, I'll join your LARP sessions, but, uh. <clears throat> I don't need you on my crew right now. I guess Juice. Replace Steve. Yeah. I think, uh... Yeah, now I, ha I have three fixers and two mechanics. That works. That works. Alright. So, for cars... Um, I got some cash. We've unlocked a lot of cars. I think I'm going to buy a new car. Uh, which car, however, I don't know. I don't want to get the 911 because I just used the Carrera 4S in Most Wanted. Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> Their fixers do. They give you extra cash at the end of races. Money. Um. Hmm. I think I might just go with the DB9. Driving the garage. More like directly signed. Yeah, they're just vibing. Um. Get the DB9. Aston Martin. Ooh, we already have both the engine kits. They're the top engine upgrades available. Unlocked. <clears throat> cool. Not for handling, though. We only have the first handling kit. Ooh, 14,000. Ooh. One chassis upgrade available. We'll grab that. And then the turbo. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> The amount the acceleration goes up with the turbo. Holy shit. 
At 22,000 well invested. And then nitrous. Alright. Damn. Big performance. Alright, give me a body kit. You know what? That kicks it out a bit. Sick. Absolutely. Alright, wing. Oh, I have all the wings unlocked now. That's right, because I unlocked the, uh... Dual GT after finishing... After being the core. Um, let's see. Which one will work on this Aston? Drag spoiler. I like Hammerhead. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, see how dual GT works. Looks. Eh. Not a fan on the Aston. Aramax doesn't, <laughs> just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. Yeah, I think Hammerhead's the move here. We're turning our DB9 into a DBR9. God damn it. Alright, now for the fun part. The hell do we paint this thing? I mean, the obvious answer would be not in the gloss tier. This would be the obvious answer. Actually, I kind of really like this. <laughs> Do we have a... Oh, shit. Wrong button. Hmm. McBitches racing green. <laughs> yes. Um... You know what? Fuck it. I don't know if I like the metallic finish, though. I think we'll just go with standard green. Standard finish. Alright. <clears throat> Vanilles. Sirens vinyl looks really good on this. Hmm. Kind of like Kabuki on it as well. Okay, hang on. I need to do something here. Get the uh, crew tag off the side of the car so I can actually like better see these vinyls. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> East Siders, baby. Need for speed underground one, baby. That is an interesting vinyl design. Turbo V12, everything. I'm from DBR9 GT1 to GT500. <laughs> DBLM, DBRLM9. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Actually, kind of goes hard. Scribble two, scribble harder. Hmm. 
Kind of like Vicious on it. I'm not going to lie. I think we'll do Vicious. And then... Rims. Got Cyclone. Ninja. Ultra. Fucking super advanced. Sheesh. RW6. I really want to, like, make a shit post build with the super advance, but so far... I've not given myself an opportunity to make a shit post build. Hmm. Alright, either UGB or one of these earlier ones. The Ninja. Um... I think we're going to go with UGB. Oh, I went way too far. Yeah. I did not mean to put these rims on every car in my crew, but I, I in my active crew, but I guess that's what's just happened. All right, window tent. I think I'm going to go with the medium red. I think the medium red's going to work here. Kind of. Kind of. I think this is work. What's up, Keyshore? <clears throat> we'll go with it. Now we just need to paint our rims and we'll be good to go. Sure. Why not? I think, uh, I think that's what we're going to do. So here's our, uh, DB9. Aston Farton. Fast as fucking. Yeah. Alright. I think we're ready to go now, so... Let's head back to the free roam, and let's get started here. First of all, where is everything? Uh, we got some stuff down there. Got a bunch of stuff over here. wonder if we're going to have anything, like any events on top of each other. So, like multiple events at the same exact uh, track. TBR 999. Alright, we're going to go this way. I also gotta look out for those two crates that I'm missing. Which I suspect they're both on the east side of the map. So. We're, we, we will be searching. Somewhat meticulously. Not too ridiculously, though. Unintentional rhyme. I say not too ridiculously, meanwhile. What I'm doing right now. Alright, let's go ahead and do this circuit race first. At Big East Highway. 10,000 cash. Oh shit. Okay. Big money. Two laps. Apparently this is going to be a 10 mile race. Race. Which if, it, if it's a full lap around the entire highway. That makes sense. And we got some big boys here. <clears throat> we got a Ford GT. We got a Lambo. I think it's a Murchielago. There's, well. Or it could be the guy. The Gallardo and the Murchielago are in both in this game. I don't know which one's which though. 
and then whatever Amanda's driving, which is, I think, is an R34. Alright, fuck him up. Anyways, we got Imtomp. Imtomp. Amanda and Garth. I wonder if that's Garth Tander of uh, Supercars fame. That's it. That's the entire joke. <laughs> Marsh Stomp. Oh my god, it is Marsh Stomp. I can't believe there's an actual Pokemon in this game. Hey, baby, Crazy. Oh my god, we're going so fast. 215 miles per hour. Oy. And then I immediately ate shit. God damn it. At least Layla was nice enough to uh, wait up for me. I guess. I have fucked it. He's in my sights. Yeah, the secondary Layla. There we go. I wanted him to target freaking leader. Hopefully we'll actually Oh, okay. Do something about it this time. Too late to uh <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. There we go, we fi he finally did something, Jesus. That's ridiculous, yeah. We'll, we'll find out how ridiculous, don't you worry, in like, however long it takes me to do all these races. Whoever pinned this plot was cooking. And also probably... Like, just fucked up. Kind of flying here. Over 200 miles per hour with the draft. Holding 190 outside the draft. <laughs> Cooking the blue meth. The crystals. That's right, uh, too late to was obsessed with AutoZone. Forgot about that. <laughs> Who the hell is Imtomp? Uh, it's it's Imtomp. Marsh Stomp. They taught a Pokemon how to drive a car. Yeah, we're going fast as fuck. Very quickly. Because, yeah, console carbon story was just, like, hang on. One, it was like a direct sequel to Most Wanted. Like, you were literally playing the same dude. And there wasn't really, it, it was more just, like, ha, oh, you got fucked over again. Alright. Become street racing champion over here now, champ. While Cross continues to fail at his job. <laughs> Comcast better not be acting up today. Oh, Comcast is always acting up. Comcast always be acting a fool.
All right, we got a bonus 800. I think because both of my crew members are fixers, so we got big money. Lawrence. Ilya. Damn, 32 skill points. That's wild. Getting beat by an MR2, I know, right? All right, one down, uh, 18 to go. Woo. Do the sprint race next. Since it's right here, mountains to shipyard. Let's go. Eat these junkyard dogs, get it, because we're in the junkyard uh, territory. Oh. was asking about X's whereabouts. I told him, you don't go asking after X if you know what's good for you. I'll only give you one warning. Get off a of crimson turf. How about, fuck you, Clutch. How about that? Mm, interesting. X is suspiciously missing here. Mm. Ship my yard until I mount in. Bitch ass, what about Carl's butt? Anyways, uh, racing. Hey, ready to do this. <laughs> I that's me. Interesting place to lay the spikes, but uh, you know it works. So, who am I to judge? Yeah, Layla two. So the uh, there's a crew in this game called the Sirens, and um, they are all named Layla. <laughs> there's a Layla hierarchy. <laughs> The leader is Layla One. Hey, ready to do this. Like it's actually there's actually like a lore to it too. Cause Layla One's like, you know. Uh I try to recruit your uh your brother's girlfriend. But uh, you know, if she was gonna join, she'd have to change her name to Layla. Or be or go by the name Layla. Uh spoiler alert, her name is not Layla. It's like the Thunderbirds and each Layla's designed for a specific purpose. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I am fucking it here at the finish. It's okay, I unfucked it. That on PSP? Sure is. PSP game. Right here. Even as a real name. Uh, you don't need a Layla 6. <laughs> I'll have you know, Joe. There, in fact, was a Layla 6. Alright, Damon's reached the level cap. Or XP cap. I gotta figure out where I am, and then get back, and also look for the two missing crates. Queen. Anyways, yeah, the sirens is funny. So Layla One keeps saying things to me, and they activate my neurons. And uh, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. Rock away! I will do no such thing. Do, do I do I look like my name is Fat Joe? All right, where the hell am I here? Where's the start button on my controller? That's the wrong menu. Okay, there's a couple things over here. There's a lot of shit up here. Go up here. Our PSP reference. That's a internet culture reference. 
because we're all lonely virgins and down horrendous for literally any woman who would give us the time of day. Anyways, let's do this delivery race. Next. Let's go. Of course, Tank would go for the war criminals. Hey, ready to do this. Oh, okay. I don't remember what she looked like. You know, Lady Dimodome probably was, like, the main... I don't know if that's what started it, but that... It, that's... The, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So, oh, I didn't even look to see who was... So we had Donnie and Lance in this one. They were both in SL65s. They both lost to me. Fucking losers. Heh. Co-owner of the Dimzel Dim... What do you mean co-owner? Have you say, seen Lady Dimodome? She is 100% owner. By force. Yeah, sheer force of her thighs. <laughs> exactly. Biggest in the state. It's car sound. I like the off throttle sound. It's funny. Sorry, I'm having fun. I'm getting distracted by funny noises and also Lady Demodome. Talk shit, my boy. Oh. Bro, we. No. We don't talk shit to Neville. How dare. Alright, I should probably actually, like... Drive up to another event. Instead of just whatever the hell I'm doing right now. I still have not fully regained vision. Just, just saying. Still, I'm still going through it right now. Oh shit, Darius is the dick? Okay. I'm on your side now. Every all is forgiven, right, Teehee? Yeah, the the hot vampire mommy from Resident Evil 8. That's that's who we're talking about. All right. Let's do this escape event. 55 seconds, so this will be a quick one.
That's a goal. And I run. I run so far away. And I run. I run all night and night. It's perpetually night. Oh, no. The game won't me go through the shitty alleyway. I ain't doing that. I'm on to your tricks, GPS. Since you want to be beat up by girls so badly. <laughs> Fucking got him. Oh my god. <laughs> that was actually kind of great. Uh... I win. Got new art. You've unlocked some art. Oh, there's a sprint race literally right here. Alright. Unless I've already done this one. It gets bodied here next. Wait, I've already done the sprint race, haven't I? Yeah, okay, never mind. Story behind my name. Uh... I like Gran Turismo 4, and my name is Ryan's, and Rhino is a common nickname for people named Ryan. That's that's the story. The beginning, middle, and end. Whoa! Okay. Aston no like curbs. Yeah, I'm an FIA GT4 homologated race car. <laughs> AJ with the bonus subplot. Chat, I don't think I'm going to find these last two crates on my own. Unless I find them by pure accident. Might have to consult a map. If such one even exists for this game. Keeps crowing. What do you mean? This was established like well over a decade ago. Oh wait, no, the GT4 homologation, that's right. Anyways, lap knockout. Alright, got Lance and Donnie in their SL fit or yeah, SL fifty fives or whatever the fuck. Then Amanda. Amanda has eaten shit. Alright, all serious. That's what I went by when I was president. All hail President Rhino. All hail the Rhino Serious Commander in Chief. Psycho stick. that ruin the the fun surprise of of uh getting the not knowing what you're gonna get until you get it like, <gasps> whoa this is cool or oh okay Actually, like trying to sort of concentrate here because I don't have my wingman to wingman wingmen. Well, wingman and wingwoman to uh, back me up since this is a knockout race. Argentina greetings, person from Argentina. You know what? Understandable. 
I too, I want, I was a kid before and definitely wanted that instant gratification, so I get it. That literally happened over a decade ago, so I sure don't remember anything about it. The grind. It's a very long game. <clears throat> about GT7. I fucking love GT7. That game's also, like, a grind, but, like, it's more linear. Kind of makes it, like, I will say, like, there are, isn't a whole lot of replay, ability, replay value in GT7 because of how linear it is, but man, that game's so much fun. The driving's fantastic. The AI is actually phenomenal. Especially in, like, the, uh, the more difficult events. They're, they keep adding, yeah, like, they're, they're keep adding more and more content to the game for free, which is amazing. Which makes it even more fun to, like, come back to after an extended period of time away from it. So good. I will say, I definitely was about going to drop the game when I first played it, because... Um... Yeah, its launch state was a bit rough, mostly with the, the car physics. But then they changed the physics and made the game actually, like, really fun. Insanely fun. I bring it up every time GT7 is mentioned, and I'll keep bringing it up every time GT7 is mentioned. That Magior one-hour race in the human comedy, it might be one of, if not the best race, like, my favorite races I've ever done in a video game, ever. Fucking love that race so much. Lost, geez. My ranking of Gran Turismo games, uh, I would put two and four tied for first. Seven would go in third. I won the race, by the way. Uh, 7 would go 3rd, GT5 would be 4th, and then I don't know about the rest. I have a definitive top 4, though. Mostly because 7 knocked 5 out off the podium for me. Alright, we have a sprint race and we have a crew takedown here. We'll do the sprint first. North Bridge Sprint. Looks like I've been doing a lot of events in the other territory because I still only have one event completed in the junkyard. Ooh, no crewmates in this race either. Interesting. And GT3. GT3 is like, I like GT3. GT3 has the best visual aesthetic out of the entire franchise. Like, it's not even close. But the actual full game experience itself is one of my, uh, I, I would rank it a little lower compared to those I mentioned. But GT3 is by no means a bad game. I would even go as far as to say GT3 is a great game. It's just... There, there are great er games in the franchise that I adore more. An LPGT PSP. Uh, eventually, maybe, hopefully, maybe, maybe. We'll see. I mean, PSP games are definitely on the table here. Look at me, what I'm doing right now, playing a PSP game. All right. Am I nearby any events? No, because I'm on the west side of the map. However. If I just follow this road, we'll be at a circuit race. Let's just follow this road. 
get to a certain race. I feel like I should fuck with the police at some point with this car. One, to see if they've upgraded to the SUVs yet, and two, just to fuck with the police. Be hard. Not really. Like, I already have, like, a road map. Just beat all the, the like, trial mode and then level up all the tracks. Do that one race while waiting somewhere. Honestly, it's probably how it was designed as well. Okay, we got... One lap at Southside for this race. Like, GTPSP is a great, like, do a race. Like, we either on the shitter or, like, during a car ride. And then go about your day. Like, it definitely feels like, it definitely feels like that game was designed for extremely short play sessions. But, like, in a positive way. Because let's be honest here, you're not going to, like, normally, you're not going to play a PSP game and sit down there and play it for, like, hours at a time. Shit like that is, was meant for short uh, gameplay bursts. PSP is much closer to GT5's handling. Is GT4s really? Hmm. I mean, PSP did come out like a year before, like in between, like GT5 Prologue and GT5 Full. So it dropped during that development cycle. So I guess that would make sense. Watch out, cart! Oh shit. I've made the turn. And sports online. Z Budokai. Hey, but holy shit. <laughs> All right, Donnie and Lance are doing a pretty good job of keeping up here. Of course, as I say that, they've dropped back a little bit. Oh, there was a spike strip there. What the hell? Who put those spikes there? Hang on. What the... What? What? Um. I'm kind of confused. How'd those spikes get there? One of the one of the uh, the Crimson Crew and Assassin, and like pre-laid spikes there or something. Oh god, he does. Yeah, Damon looks a little, uh... He, he certainly has a look. Pulls PS PSP back from being held in high regards the campaign. Yeah. It definitely doesn't get the love it deserves because it doesn't have a proper GT campaign. I still love it, though. It's still a really fun game, though. Really good game. Alright, I've already done that escape. We've already escaped. Yeah, that means I've done this delivery race as well, right? Yeah, I've done that delivery race. Okay, let's check the map here. Oh, yeah, we have this crew takedown here. Okay, we'll go do that. 
the normal for Pete. It does. GT PSP looks insane. Lee good. I've already gotten the hidden crates here, right? Because I very much remember this area. Yeah, okay. Alright, anyways, let's do this uh, crew takedown. We gotta get four takedowns in however much time we have. Let's do this. Take down some fools. We got a minute 55. I can go that way. I'll go this way. One down. I oh, brake checked me a little bitch. Back here. All right, two to go. Yes, onto the highway. Let's go. I want to go this way on the highway. Okay, yeah, Mario Odyssey is such a good game. Love Odyssey. Alright, we've completed the uh, main objective. Now see how much how many bonus takedowns we can get. I mean, Galaxy 1 is also great. Like, two, there can be multiple fantastic games within the same franchise. Like, me saying, talking about how amazing Odyssey is, in no way puts down Galaxy 1 in any way. I still need to play Galaxy 2 at some point. Ooh, 3D World. 3D World's a really good time. Y'all can go to the not golf course. I'm gonna go this way. Just wait for y'all to respawn right in front of me. It's just a good time. I just wish Nintendo wasn't so anti-consumer, like to a disgusting degree, because man. Their first party games are so good. Horrible company, fantastic games. Replay Mario 64. I still need to play Mario 64 for the first time. I mean. Alright, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to go north here. I'll just go north and figure it out from from there. I need to keep looking out for those two crates that I'm missing. Taxi! Sorry, I just wanted to bully the taxi. I suspect that one of them is... Oh, oh! One of them is literally right here. Graveyard concept. Interesting. Got some concept art. Alright. We're just missing one more crate.
for fast travel. Uh, yes and no. There's like isn't fast travel specifically, but you can just um, like ac uh, access races from the menu or start races from the menu. I find it more engaging to just free roam though. Oh hey, we couldn't take on uh, Scotty for uh, storage territory. Now we've completed seven events in the uh, storage territory. All right, lap knockout. Let's do this. Scotty, too hotty. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna do the worm with his car, and that's it. I lose. Hey, Corey. Yeah, no, no, uh, no crewmates. So I'm trying to actually, like, kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. As I get fucked by Lance. Uh, car? Okay, that was weird. Car just decided to not accelerate on the grass, which is like the first time that's ever happened in this game. All right, well, let's not have a horrific accident with Lance this time. Maybe win. All right, I'm going to like beat the shit out of Lance after this race. Like we're fist fighting. He keeps fucking on me and I keep getting eliminated lap one because of it. Better run through the quarry that time. Whoa! Got a got a traffic car driving in the uh, the wrong side of the road again. Hey, I survived lap one. Whoa. Finally. Took me three tries to just make it to lap two of this race. Damn it, it went too fast. Fuck off, Lance. Oh, just barely got in front of him. All right. That's all I needed. All right, final lap. It's me and Donnie. 
Jesus Christ. I see we're going for the murder tactic. Can't kill me that easily. I'm not my brother. I can't die. Whoa! Wrong lane traffic again. Well, I think Donnie made a mistake. A little dip in the grass. I think that was what was slowing down the car. Suck my dick, Donnie! Alright, I went. That was a pain in the ass to get going, but once we got going, I actually got the win. Alright. <laughs> Anyways. Well, that's finally over. What we got? Uh, we got a delivery race, we got an escape. Let's go do this delivery race, I guess. Over here. Let's go. Alright, let's deliver some... This dub. Hey, I got my crew back. There's definitely a delivery and a lap knockout next to each other somewhere on the map. Hey, ready to do this. He's in my sight. Fuck him up. Or or crash into a wall, that works too. I suppose. Gotta pay attention to the GPS here. It should be good. Yeah, there's the delivery point. <laughs> Got it. Easy win. Alright. And now, I'm on the west side of the map. Um, okay, there is a lap knockout right next to a delivery, but it's not the one I just did, because I just did the delivery over here. So you were right, Ash. Partially. What are you doing on the wrong side of the road? Excuse me. Tired GT4 strikes again. I have chosen the wrong way. We're, we're going the long way to, to the next event, I guess. Just like how I like my corn the long way. I've already done those two events, the circuit race and this uh, sprint. The 
God, excuse me. I don't want to go back on the highway. That last yawn got my eyes all moist. I don't believe you tank. This is definitely a uh, an airplane. Hang on. I was just a road sign. I saw a flash of something. It was not a crate. It was not a Manco supply crate. Okay, I did that sprint race already. Or that lap knockout. Go do this escape. Whee! Escape the junkyard. I think that's what this is supposed to be a junkyard. Got a minute five. You escape. Howdy, fellers. That's a wall, by the way. Complete. Hell yeah. Sweet. And another one down. Alright, let's check the map real quick. Uh. Okay. Let's go up here. up here I guess we'll do that lap knockout plus delivery race they're just kind of next to each other mm. excuse me luckily they're next to each other not on top of each other the lap knockout first at the factory circuit World Package Corp. Corp. What, your packages? We got your packages here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Yay, yay, oi. He said, excuse me. They made no attempt at actually making the turn, they're just like, fuck it. Wall bounce, baby. Ross Chastain. I'm 
actually getting cucked by the street signs. Oh, oh. Lots are happening. Stuff's happening. I do not want to be on the outside of this turn. Not outside three wide, god damn it, not again. Final turn too, I think. Oh no, there's one more. But right at the end of the lap. Again. Motherfuckers. God damn it. Is it always Lance? Because Lance a hoe? Actually, that wasn't even Lance that time. That was... Well, no, it was Lance. Yeah, it was Lance and Donnie. Alright. Here we go again. Those, those two Mercedes are really good at cucking me. And these knockouts. Oh! Wrong target, Lance. Wrong target. He took out Donnie. Took out the wrong car, damn it. I don't think his superior is going to be happy about that. Ah, it's, there's a turn there. Got, we got the edgy Lambo here. Didn't somebody have an edgy Lambo in a Most Wanted as well? Most Wanted 510? I think so. Alright, not gonna get fucked this time. I have clear lane for this turn. Right. Around town. Okay, we made it through lap one. Donnie, however, did not. By his own teammate's hand. Vinyl instead of red. I don't know. Not gonna lie, I never noticed that. I just saw, like, you know, black base with red window tint. Damn it. I forgot about that turn again. Except I forgot harder that time. Oh, don't, don't even think about it, Lance. I'll kill us both. Ooh. Is true rhino yawn hours. Oh my god. Those two signs slowed me the hell down. You know, missed opportunity to just have a whole ass race around that circle. Like, just have that be the entire track. That'd be funny. Alright, the Lambo's been eliminated. 
this main lance now. I remember the turn this time. Oh my god. I can't stop. Help. Help someone wake me up. That's a wall. Street. I mean, that'll happen when the time comes for right now. I gotta finish carbon first. And I have won the race. Ha ha ha. Fight Lance's best efforts to sabotage me. Get fucked. Alright, now let's head straight into this uh, delivery race. That's just right here. So, uh, let's uh, go. Remember, you gotta finish first. They got nothing on us. Fuck me. Oh man, I'm so sorry for the yawning. It's it's bad. I know no one wants to see the inside of my mouth like that. Or my twenty chins. Going GPS arrow. Hang in there, honey. Well, both my crewmates just ate shit. Oh, they're back. Well, oh, one of them's back. What's up? <laughs> oh, this way. God damn it. All right, we're only halfway. Go. Help. Oh, we're going left. So close to the finish line. Oh, the delivery point was actually on that side of the road. God damn it. I thought I'd be clever. I wasn't. Shit. <laughs> Played myself. Alright, well, let's go again. It's okay, I know what to do now. Or I know where I'm going now. Yeah. GPS was surprisingly not very upset about that. Fuck behind me. Big jump. It acts like a magnet. That's what the drafter does. The the draft wake definitely uh, tries to like keep can keep your car contained within it. 
You can still break out of it, but it's... It's... Oh... They made it relatively easy to stay in it. Stay in the wake. For good reason. I actually have to go to the left lane here, or left side. There we go. There we go. See, all I had to do was just uh, not go the wrong way. Need for a GT4, no one should ever have that need. Alright, another one down. Actually, how many events have we done so far? The nine in the storage area, and four in the junkyard. We're gonna have one more race in the storage uh, area left. Storage, uh, fuck they're called, uh, territory. I keep calling them districts, but they're called territories in this game. I went the wrong way. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Nope, we're backing up. Or else I'm just gonna end up doing a full loop at the west side of the map. That's the opposite of what I need to do here. This way. We'll go this way. There's probably stuff over here. There's more stuff over here. Alright, have I done this delivery race? Let's find out. Yes, I have. Okay. Let's find an event I haven't done yet. There's several. There's a lap knockout. Done those two. Think I've done this knockout race as well. Yes, I have. So I need to head up north. I just finished doing those two events. This way. I've done that. We'll go this way through the junkyard. Ah! That's a wall. Okay. Yeah, I basically just gotta do this shit. The north side of the highway here. Oh, there's a police car up there. Do the sprint race first. Cross town sprint. Remember, you gotta finish first, boss. Let us sprint. Looks like Donnie and Lance are just in all of these races. 
At least they very much seem to be. Fuck him up. That actually fuck him up, please. Might have to bring a brawler with me instead of an assassin. <laughs> this brawler, all I, they have to do is just beat the shit out of somebody. Assassins seem really, uh... Reluctant to use the spikes. There we go. And he did it on a narrower road. He heard me, uh... <laughs> he heard what I was saying. He's like, oh fuck, I gotta do something good. I gotta be useful. Shit. Useful he was. I ended up winning by almost 20 seconds. How about that shit? Alright. Not only that, he's an assassin who is part of a crew called Core. I know. He's either a former cop or military. Yes, I did see those spikes there. What the fuck? Lap knockout. This one's at crossover. Crossover. Let's go. Oh shit, Lance isn't in this one. We got Donnie Garth and Marsh Stomp. Finally, Lance gets benched. Oh, no! It's fine. It's fine. We can recover from this. Oh, my God. The street signs. There's so many speed limit signs. Holy crap. I was thinking Garth Tander of Supercars fame. Oh my god. I'm not entirely sure what I just did, but it wasn't good. There's the crossover, as the uh, the track's name implied. And all four of us have been reunited. Hit him, hit him, damn it. There he is. A little less stupid in this game, actually, are able to avoid traffic. And this is a long one. Alright. 
One down, two to go. Smooth. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was less smooth. Oh, my God. I don't know what is wrong with me in this sector, but section of the track, but man, I just forget how to drive. Back here. Fuck you. Oh God. Oh no. The ball bouncing could have gone a whole lot worse. Surprised it didn't. At least I'm leading the laps. Alright, it's between me and Garth Tander now. That's my head cannon. Whoa! get through this section better than I have been or not I still got through here better than I have been now we go fast as fuck again To the line. I win. Yeah. That was a long ass track. That was a big ass dub. On to the next. We got a circuit race here. At crossover. Hmm. Actually surprised that the circuit wasn't on top of the lap knockout since it's the same track apparently. Uh, probably because we're going a different direction. Okay, going the other direction on this one. That that would explain it. 
This explains it well enough for me. Go get him, Tiger. Well, damn, immediately, okay. He really did hear me talking shit. You're threatening to bench him. Unfortunately, I think Layla also ran over the spikes. She'll be back. Whoa. Hey, ready to do this. That's a wall. We're good. It's fine. Hey, Layla's back. Told you she'd be back. Let's go. Drafted. Oh, we got well over 200 miles per hour. Oh, no. My DB9 has entered uh, electric mode. Alright, we're back. So back. I can help you out. Ooh. That was kind of spooky. The car's really freaking fast. I actually have to, like, be very careful about how I drive. Oh, hi, Donnie. How did you come from? Last time I checked, vacuums actually make sound. Easy win. Hell yeah. Very good. Very good, very good. All right. That's another one down. Now we need to go this way. I think there's a delivery race over here. There's something over here. Oh, it's a, well, there's, did I already do that sprint race? I think I already did that sprint race. Hang on.
Okay, just making sure that last crate isn't down here or something. Because I'm still looking for that last crate. I have not done the sprint race, okay. Well, gonna do it now. Long point. Let's go. Long, long point. Oh, no crewmates for this one, okay. In chat. Did I say Truxton? Fuck yeah, Truxton. Truxton. Victory is mine! Aw, oh, mid-air victory! Look at that, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was an easy sprint race. How much we got left here? Got two events left in the junkyard. Storage is done. So let's, hang on, let's, let's peruse the map here. Okay, we haven't done that delivery race yet, and I think this circuit race also needs to be done. So I'm actually going to set the GPS. Trucks Dimension, hell yeah. I'm Trucks Dead. I'm Trucks Dead. Screw you. Love listening to the Truxton album on the Edison sim uh, cylinder. I went the wrong way. Fine. GPS is mad now. Okay, we're back on track. It's no longer mad. This truck. All right, cool. Junk Town Scramble. Oh, this is a three lap circuit race. Let's go. All right. That'll be interesting. Here we go. It's a scramble, baby. Moderately sized one. This looks like it's going to be a pretty long track. Pretty long race. Howdy. Oh. Everyone's fucking it up. Uh oh. That was not the time for a sick ass stoppy. Both my crewmates are wrecked. God damn it. I 
think Layla just respawned. Get into my draft zone. Teleported. Gave up on the spikes. All right. Oh, this way into the junkyard. That was a terrible entrance to the junkyard. Sick. Industrial in Rockport, yeah. Make yourself useful, Damon. Well, he finally dropped the spikes, unfortunately. I got spiked. It's not slowing me down any. Flat tires, who cares? I can still go fast. Yeah, Aston had hydraulics. Wouldn't really help me in the races. Whoa! I say, you gonna do it or are you just gonna ride in front of them for forever? Ooh. And Aston hit this Martin. <laughs> No, Martin hit this Aston. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. Let's take carry on. Yeah. 219 miles per hour. Almost hit 220. In the draft. Do what around the corner? Come. Okay, that leaves one event left for these two territories, and it's this delivery race, I'm pretty sure. And then we get to do some boss races and maybe a little extra um, story uh, development, maybe. Delivery time. Remember, you gotta finish first, boss. We'll do this. They got nothing on us. Damn right, they got nothing on us. They ain't shit. Oh, the barrels to the moon. Oh, 
Alright. He was set up, ready to go, and then he just kind of turned into the wall. Sure. You know, when, after, when they actually, like, work, the assassins are really good. However, they like to, um, fumble a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, did I go the wrong I went the wrong way. God damn it. Of course, that was the last turn. <laughs> Every damn time in these delivery races, my dumb ass goes the wrong way. Alright, let's try again. I think even the GPS was confused. It's okay. Get the dub this time. Jesus fucking Christ, Damon. How you doing? There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, the GPS is freaking out because it thinks I need to be on the left side, of, like take the left side of the road to reach the finish line. Don't need to. At least Damon got there in the end. Anyways, that's all the junkyard and storage races done, so... Let's take on the bosses. <coughs> Starting with Clutch. Told me not to mess with Crimson's crew, Crimson Crew. Guess what? I'm fucking with him. Oh, he's got a Corvette. Race me? Sure, you might win. Mm -hmm. But X knows you're looking for him and he doesn't mm -hmm. want to be found. So I couldn't tell you where X is, even if I wanted to. Okay. Do yourself a favor and pack it in before X gets pissed and comes looking for you. Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find X, goddammit, and I'm going to give it to him. Alright, quick sprint race against Clutch. And his quart of it. Quick, depending on how long this track actually is. Okay. Not actually that long. Less than a minute. 50 second win. Yay! Except I got 
got no place in Crimson since you beat me so bad. Damn. He's quick. say it was a falling out. <laughs> now I've got a score to settle. If you need another driver to help settle your score with X, I'm in. Damn, just like that. Okay. <laughs> X said you lost. Get the fuck out of my crew. I guess we have clutch now. Two new cars. More upgrades. All right, and just clutch is available to recruit. So he's already a level three assassin, but he has no secondary um secondary skill. So meh. All right. Um. Okay, I am gonna swap out Damon for Marcus. Just cause I want a brawler instead of a uh, assassin. All right. So, what cars did we unlock? Oh shit. Okay, we got the Carrera GT. The Gallardo. Oh fuck, okay. Ooh. Interesting. I got some performance parts, which means... Nope, I still don't have handling kit too. Okay, I guess I'll unlock that from the other, uh... Territory. Well, I've already won the race, all the races in storage, so I guess we'll take on Scotty here. Let's just let's just get, do it to it. Another quick sp sprint race, shipyard sprint. Let's do this, Scotty. These guys are pathetic. Scotty's on a GT. Cool. Oh. Oh. I'm good to go. Unfortunately, I'm in the lead, so I can't use Marcus and his abilities. Yes, mommy. Oh, fuck. Uh, that was an unfortunate oversteer moment. Somehow no one passed me. All right. And the finish line's right here. It's another very quick uh, boss race. And Scotty finished last. Damn. Hate to see it. All right. Well, that was easy. Get fucked, Scotty. Three new cars. And more performance parts. Eesh. Did my completion go from 88 to 94 just for that one race? Holy fuck. All right. No, uh... Yeah, no new crew recruits either, huh? Interesting. So, that is, leaves just one more territory. And it's X's territory. There's only four races, or four events. So that's not going to take long. It's going to be a pretty quick finale. But before we do that, Let's see, we got, so now we have the Corvette or GT unlocked. And the SL65. Um. Hmm. Jesus, acceleration stat on the Carrera. Literally off the chart. But I used the Carrera in, uh, 
most wanted, so I'm going to buy the 4 GT. I'm going to drive the 4 GT. We're going to upgrade the 4 GT. $25,000 for the cash for the engine. Eighteen for the handling kit, which, oh my god. Chassis doesn't have any upgrades. Turbo doesn't get an upgrade. Nitrous. I got both stages. Did I unlock stage two before stage one? I think I did. I did. <laughs> That's funny. All right. See if we can do this. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Thick. Big thick. Just the way I like it. I don't like the end plates on the dual GT. Have side pipes and rear exhausts. Uh, we, let's take a look. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> we got, we got, we got three sides of exhaust. Left, right, and rear. I think the downforce just might objectively be the best wing here. <laughs> All right. Now, paint. Hmm. I'm really just not a fan of the metallic finish. Hot pink. I think I think we gotta go hot pink. All right. Hmm. These vinyls are very warped because of the body kit. Well, not warp, but like the lines are just all fucky. That big ass side in tank, though. Might have to just go with Siren's vinyl again. See how this looks. Eh, that works enough. Kabuki it is. Alright, rims. Still missing a couple rims. Actually, I don't even think the game tells me, like, hey, you've unlocked new rims. But we did get the... Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's like the inverse spokes. S5s, torques... 
Samurai. Samurai rims. I'm just going to go regular dark window tent. And then paint the rims. Do we go darker or lighter rims? I'll go with that. Looks good enough. There's our 4 GT, baby. Hell yeah. Alright, well. We don't have a whole lot left. One more territory, and... Only four races in, four events in that territory. So there's a circuit race there. There's a sprint race here. Two sprint races over there. In the actual territory. And a circuit race all the way down there. Okay. Well, we're at the airport, so I guess first thing to knock off is that circuit race, since that's the closest. So let's go. Go knock out these races and confront X. Bit of underground too. It reminds me of the uh, Underground Rivals Airport. Shout out to EA International Airport. There's also that one bonus crate I still need to find in the overworld. I might go bumbling about looking for that before we take on X. If I don't find it before. I highly doubt I'll find it before. Nailed it. Oh my god. Car off the wall. Barbie car. We are in the Barbie world now. Circuit race one. Two laps of south side. Let's we'll do this. Oh, X marks the spot. We got a cutscene. This art is really nice. Is that our boy? You were supposed to leave town. You're dead set on finding out what went down. Come out of nowhere, beating all my crew. Even though it was in your best interest just to leave it alone. Now, if you want to save your pal Carter, you do what I say. Time for the gauntlet. Okay. Oh, well, we found X, I guess. Motherfucker's got Carter tied up. The gauntlet begins. Well, here we go. Guess time for X's gauntlet. Not the fun kind car. Oh, that, okay. Donnie's car definitely just sunk into the ground a little bit there. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh, this car turns. Oh man, this car turns. Okay. We are, we are at the end game. The cars are fast as fuck and they turn fast as fuck. Let's go, Layla. Uh, Layla? Layla? Uh, speed, Layla. Hello? I, 
think she uh, misunderstood the, uh, the 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 mission here. Thanks, Layla. That was my ass. Well, that could not have gone worse. Jesus. Okay, good thing it was just a lap race. Yeah, a big love tap. There's a lot of love, that's for sure. Straighten my ass. Jeez. Fuck him up. Biggest difference between the assassin and the brawler, other than they fight in different ways, is I actually have to stay behind the target car for the brawler to do its thing, do their thing, or else they're just like, "The fuck, bro! I can't, I can't beat him up anymore. You're in front of him." Damn, X wasn't kidding when he said Gauntlet. This is a long-ass track. Basically did a whole-ass lap around the city. Almost. Three-minute lap. Who is that? I think that's Layla. possible I don't definitely haven't done it today but I don't and I don't remember the tracks from previous sessions hey, I'm going over 200 on my own hey Layla figured it out 230 230 miles per hour oh my god no, not again. Same wall, too. Holy shit. That's basically what happens, Yaston. Barely just stick your nose in front of them, and they're like, actually, I can't, I can't do it anymore. You're in front of them, Chief. I don't got no target. And Layla just crashed. Oh, I don't know why I thought the road was going in the direction I thought it was going, but it did, definitely was not. Who put that there? I wasn't there the last lap. Who put that there? Good thing I had a massive lead. Oh, oh. So, uh, 4GT does not like certain scenarios. Certain physics scenarios. <laughs> It'll be fine. And that was an easy win, first part of the gauntlet. Hell yeah. 
So now what? Got a sprint race up north here, I think. We'll go to that next. Did I miss a turn? No, I did not. Okay. Yeah, both of the sprints are up here. Okay. Can I check the... Uh... Oh. Okay, that was interesting. I cannot check the barrels in this map. By barrels, I mean crates. My crate progress. Crate. Don't know. Let's do the sprint race. High to low. We go high and we go low. Hey, what's up, Lakari? 16,000 cash for this race as well. Damn. Big money. Here we go. I'm sprinting. The only person that can match Snoop Dogg in height is Willie Nelson. Get in my draft. It's fast. Can we reach 240? Uh, not quite. I think we got up to 237, but couldn't quite get to 240. And then, <laughs> then uh, Layla Turbo ate shit. Two hundred forty miles per hour in an MR2 has to be the most terrifying thing that's ever been imagined. The car is barely built for half of that. All right, sprint race win. I have a nice amount of cash now. Love to see it. All right, time to turn around. Go to the next. Oh, racing our gauntlet. Oh, hello. Random traffic car doing incorrect traffic things.
Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Fuck you. Out my way. Where's that other sprint race? It should be around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, cross town sprint. Round three of the gauntlet. Deserted for all the infrastructure it has. These guys are pathetic. Can only handle so much traffic. There actually is not a whole lot of traffic in this game, in general. The goat. This is definitely the ghost of Rockport. Thirty thousand people used to drive in these streets. To now it's a ghost town. Oh, we're drifting. That actually worked. That was sick. We're gaming. I was kind of hoping this track would lead me to the uh, the uh, other circuit race, but it looks like we are not doing that. Easy dub. Yeah, X kicked out Clutch, but not Scotty, somehow. Favoritism, SMH my head. Alright, well we can take on X now, however, there's still one more race left in the gauntlet, so... I want to do that instead. We're probably going to have to unpack a lot from the plot, so I'm probably going to just wait until after Racing X to uh, actually search for that last barrel, or crate. I don't know why I'm calling it a barrel all of a sudden. there. Aha, fuck you! Alright, here we go. Big East Highway, 10.6 miles for two laps. These guys are pathetic. They Damn, alright. This one might actually be a full map loop, if the mileage is to be trusted. Although it's a big east highway, so I'm guessing it's just the eastern highway on this map. Which could also be five miles long. I'm good to go. Easily. <laughs> Later, losers. Get on a straighter part. We're gonna deploy Layla. Here we go. Here we go. High better speed. Two thirty, baby. Can't hold that outside of the draft, but two hundred thirty miles per hour. Oh my god. 
Still holding over 200. 210. Road sign. Still holding over 200. Oh, hello. <laughs> Both of my crewmates just respawned in front of me. Or right behind me, I mean. I'm so glad my crew has the ability of teleportation. Still have not dipped below 200 miles per hour since drafting. Even with that lift off the throttle, oh my god. Alright, finally have to dip below because these actually have to slow down for these turns. Get our speeds right back up. The fuck is Layla doing? Teleportation's a secret third ability, yeah. I think Layla's gotten lost. GT is fucking fast. Oh, there they are. Maybe choosing the 4 GT for this gauntlet might have made things a little easy. Just a little. Oh well. These things happen. Oh my god. Big win at the Big East Highway. Scotty was only nine seconds behind, only. <laughs> yeah, some Crimson guys also have four GT, so like, skill issue on their part. All right, well that's every uh, event in the gauntlet. It was close until it started. I guess it's time to take on X and confront him. Let's fucking do this. Let me tell you a little something. When we first met years ago, I kind of liked you. Yeah. I think it was out of pity. Oh. Now, you're just a big pain. Time to learn some manners. Fuck you too, bitch. All right. Don't talk shit. That guy's rude. It's like he's the final boss or something. <laughs> what a dick. Also high zero. All right, his, his Mercedes is a little quick. That SL is kind of fast. But you know what else is fast? My Ford fucking GT, baby. Oh! Somehow I ended up still making the pass. Oh no. Can be nice. 
true, but it's rare. To walk with properly. I don't know. It depends on if this takes uh, took more than two days to confront him or not. Since our meeting with uh, MK. All right. Well, we've won the sprint. The uh, the first race. We got one more, right? Oh, finish line. Maybe. Important cutscene. I thought when you saw my car go up in flames that you'd give up. Sarah. I needed to stop you from finding out the truth behind your brother's death. If you had just left town like I said, we wouldn't have had all this. Please, get away from me. Excuse me? First of all, wait a minute. Sarah's alive. Um, what? Supposed to blow town. Race Sarah. Seventeen miles up allegedly. The giant loop. This is the full map. Oh my god. So we're gonna have to beat Sarah in a race now. To learn the actual truth behind Mick's crash. So we got X arrested. Well, I say we. MK called in his uh, police buddies to arrest X. What the fuck she mean about skipping town and shit? Did she say that in the prologue? I can't remember. Oh, this is a full crew race as well. Okay. I thought it was just going to be a 1v1 against Sarah. No. It's Sarah and a couple of the Crimson crew. Also, she has a 350Z instead of her uh, MR2 that we started with. We called him the Bolhizier. That'd be interesting. I'm good to go. Where's Layla three? Uh, she didn't want to join my crew. She's 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 trying to build, uh, fix the broken uh, sirens, build them back. Oh man, I'm trying back here. Well, since your car's too slow to do anything, I'll just friggin' pass them. I probably should have changed my crewmates to actually fast cars. Loosely based on Melissa's 350. Oh, is it? She kind of is the Melissa of this game. The secret final race, secret final boss. I'm good to go. It's like, alright, you beat the antagonist, now it's time to face the final challenge. A woman. Just seem to be not... Uh, let's let's unpack a lot of this, by the way. We thought Sarah was dead. Remember that explosion when we first uh, met up with X a long time ago? Yeah, that was that was her. But apparently not. Apparently she lived. She wasn't actually in the car. Um I'm on it. Yeah, I definitely do not have the right crewmates for this. I don't know, she knows something. He's in cahoots in some way. None like faking your death in the need for speed game, yeah. Hang on. Alright, we're good. It's fine. Yeah, she's really adamant about wanting us to just leave town, go away. I just step out of the way. 
for real. I'm boosting back to you. It's like, what are you gonna do when the meteor hits the world? Just, I'm just not gonna get hit. Crimson and the sevens were in bed, clearly. I mean... Let's go. Come on, Vominos. Let's go fast as fuck. Marsh Stomp is the big, is actually the, the main challenger in this race. Sarah is very much last. Unfortunately, she does not have an end game car in the 350Z. Like, it's a late game car, but it's not an end game car. So uh, she's kind of at a disadvantage because of that. I can help you out. I think we're approaching the finish. This is actually intense. This is a massive highway battle around the entire map. Now yep, there's the finish line. Go! All right, spill the beans. What the fuck happened? She was 12 seconds behind, unfortunate. Better instead of Crimson Dudes. <laughs> Honestly, if Sarah was in an in-game car, like if she was in the Murchielago, which is like, I think the only car that's still locked, and it was a 1v1, that would have been, like, thematically, that would have been way better. This was still an intense race, though. All right. The breakdown. Who did it? It's time to find out. True answer. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you just do what I said? I was trying to protect you. I have amnesia, bitch. I know you think I killed your brother, but I didn't. Oh? You did. Excuse me? He bossed you around all your life. To him, you were always his idiot younger brother. He even treated me like crap. Oh. Sometimes, he could be brutal. He had contempt for everything and everyone. The more he raced, the better he got, and the more of a monster he became. See, you said that you'd save me. You said I deserved better. That's what happened. You hired X to kill Mick. You didn't know he was going to hire Buddy to do his dirty work. Bro. I'm telling the truth. Look me in the eyes. Everyone hated your brother. You just hated him more. You could have beaten him during that tragic race, but I don't think you were ready for what that would have done to you at the time. You would have become just like him. I am gay. But now, see, that's all changed. I know you're a better man. Here, this should have always been yours. Tommy. Take it. Uh -oh. So, um, so, so, um, so, 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 um, so I'm the murderer. Okay, let's unpack this. One, I guess that that stopwatch held significance. I think that was family a family heirloom or something. Um, 
So So Mick was an abusive dick basically. He was just an abusive shithead. Especially to me to me the player character and I guess Sarah. Um so much so that we hired X to to off him. So we hired a hitman who hired his own hitman. Well, henchman, I guess. And buddy. I guess we just kind of got caught in the crossfire in that crash. And that's what that's the whole amnesia angle. Uh, for the final reveal. Also, I guess Sarah just just okay. Also, we got we got Sarah. I guess um, Carter just ceased to exist. I assume we freed Carter. Either that, or he's still hanging out in the uh, the warehouse, just waiting for us. Like, guys, hey, hey, did you forget somebody? It's like that post credit scene. Like, hey, I'm still here. Hello. <laughs> Man, what a crazy fucking story, especially, like, this is a Need for Speed game, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah, that one memory, that cutscene with the memory of him just bashing on me about my, my times. Alright, well, um... Oh, we don't even have to buy the Merchilago. We just own it outright. Okay. So we got that. I'm actually missing a few crew members. Interesting. I wonder if it has... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Also, can I say the artwork in the cutscenes... Beautiful. Fantastic. Love the artwork. Um. So. We own the city now. I'm still missing a crate. Somewhere. Um. I wonder if the extra crew is like I hmm. I don't know where the other three crew members are would be come from if there even are three more to unlock. Uh hmm, hang on. I mean, yes, but however, I can't, like, you know what, actually, that does make sense, sort of, kind of, in a way. The three empty slots are, like, the three benched members of the crew or something. Also, yeah, we're just getting away with killing our own brother. <laughs> also, I never looked at Clutch's bio. Clutch is a video game junkie. In fact, when he's not driving the races, he's always at home playing racing games. It's me! He installed two game systems in his car, but only plays them when his car is safely parked. Very important. He does not, he does not game and drive. <laughs> Very important. How poggers of him. Alright, you're coming along. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta get the two nerds on my uh, main, like my uh, active roster here. Where's Where's Pip? There you are. We gotta get the gamer and the LARPer in here. My two My two favorite video game genres: racing games and RPGs. That's That's who my crewmates are gonna be: the racing gamer and the RPG gamer. Uh, 
every single cruise in on the fuckery. Yeah. It's a lot to unpack, so, like, everyone was just kind of trying to, like... I don't know. Pardon the others in. I'm sure Sarah filled them in over time. Because Sarah was, like, the main person behind, like, wanting to... Not wanting you to remember what happened, basically. People who are actually, like, loyal to Mick? I don't know. And Sarah could have told him, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna upgrade my Marchiologa. I'm just gonna drive it. I don't know, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Give me that Nitros. Oh, we, yes, we do have a body kit for it, hell yeah. <laughs> Look at Dragwing, so tiny. Hammerhead's the one, right? Hammerhead's absolutely the one. Oh, hey, we unlocked the final rims. We've got the Renegades. We've got Sack, or... The Renegades and Magnums. Sure. Absolutely. I got the crimson vinyl like a while back. Yeah. I like unlocked all the crew vinyls at once, basically. There's our Murchilago. All right, let's drive around and try to find that last crate, maybe. Oh God, where am I? Okay. Crimson's on the new management. The city no longer belongs to the Lucky Sevens. It now belongs to the McBitches. I'm still not convinced that, like, those three empty crew slots are, like, not filled or something. Like, they gotta be... I might, I might get into a couple pursuits here just to kind of up the respect, I guess. I want to say this crate's kind of in this beginning area of the game. Like the, uh, the first territory. Because it's first on the list. That would be my assumption of where it is. Where am I even on the map? We've hundred percent of everything else though. Okay, yeah, I think I need to go over here. Anyways, turns out this was all an elaborate plan to uh steal my brother's girlfriend. Kill him and get his and fuck his bitch. <laughs> I 
right, let's look, look carefully here. As this game has a crazy story. I remembered beats of it from when I played the GBA version, but seeing, like, this is kind of like the, uh... most fleshed out version of this game's story. It's, it's so crazy. Oh. Lamborghini. Hi, Leah. I beat the game. I'm looking for one last crate in the overworld. Oh, yeah. The traffic is still stupid. <laughs> they're, they're still driving on the wrong side of the road. I didn't kill your brother. You did. I didn't even think about, like, oh, hey, it was actually me who killed your brother. His girlfriend. Did not think about that when starting the final race. Like, it wasn't X, it was Sarah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Like, the story was told in very brief spurts. Between, like, an hour or two of racing. So it wasn't a whole lot to it, but my god. Racing game stories. Eh. Racing games have always had weak stories, for the most part. Because, I mean, it's hard to tell a fully fleshed out story while also, like, giving yourself time to vroom vroom car. Anyways, I found the police. They're all SUV. Oh! All right, all right, that was fantastic. Oh my god, SUV go fly. Holy shit, that was incredible. And the immediate evade. Oh, he almost found me. Well, I've unlocked some new art from that. So there's that. I did unlock something. The flying box. He, he believed with all of his heart that he could fly. And boy, did he touch the sky. Again, I might have to look up this crate. I don't want to, but I might have to. Let's get down for a race where everyone wants to chill. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when it comes to, like, a amnesia story, the twist at the end kind of justified the amnesia angle, I think. It's like, oh, by the way, you know how you're trying to figure out who killed your brother? Yeah, it was you, dipshit. You remember now? I think I'm going to find a little wooden box here. What if I went over here? No, there's a crew house. Why the fuck didn't you say at the beginning? I don't know, maybe Sarah didn't want, didn't think, uh... I don't know. Maybe Sarah wanted to forget that it happened. And just kind of move on. Because, I mean... Despite the fact that he was an abusive dick, you know, they were still, they, they were still fucking. So, like, 
Oh, hey, my boyfriend's dead. That's gonna take some time to unpack. Police! Excuse me, sir, can you help me in finding a crate? I need your assistance. These SUVs are freaking huge. Actually funny. Oh! I saw that wheelie. How you doing, sir? Fine crate. Oh, another wheelie. These SUVs are good at wheeling. Mix was forcing her. Oh, absolutely. Again, like. It's hard for people to get out of abusive relationships, either through fear or just for other factors. And because he had a lot of negative clout, I think, because apparently no one liked him, but he still had clout, street clout, you know. Hear that part's realistic, yeah. I love the like insanely maniacal faces that <laughs> they, they they drew while Sarah was telling the story of who Mick really was. <laughs> like they just turned him into a freaking vil like super villain character was very funny. His faces. Can I, can I mention how much of a joke the police is in this game? After after most wanted and the hell of dealing with the police in that game, the police in this game are a joke. Oh yeah, being able to fight back is very useful. Plus, they're not everywhere always. Alright, um... this up as much as I don't want to. I also would like to find another cop. Time plays went down each time, yeah. Fuck that truck. Oh, please. Sir, citizens in rest, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh! Oh, he's upside down. Holy shit. That's funny.
And this game had every right to be longer than 510, actually, because I was literally driving through the open world the entire time. Man, these guys suck. <laughs> Wait, did you see it, Zero, or are we memeing? Okay. Big box, yeah, large box. I'm literally... <laughs> Did a stoppy off of my ass. Oh my god. The roles have been reversed. I am the one who has the heavy car now. Come on. Come on. I do appreciate that the uh the weight in this game it, like the cars my cars are a lot heavier in this game in terms of they aren't just flipping all over the place and getting manhandled all the time. I can even abuse traffic. Oh, I... Alright, that one SUV bunny hopped. <laughs> These guys are trying their best. It's just not... Their best just isn't very good. Where bro come from? Oh, no! My ass! They finally got me. Oh! Hold up, did he just pull a wheelie to like avoid the front of my car? Hold on. What in the what in the physics happened there? Fellas. <laughs> Fellas, I'm t they're they're just things are just happening to their vehicles. So you know how my car's a lot heavier now? They're, they, the SUVs even are very light. Very light. They, those things are bouncing off of everything. Even off of nothing. These are some bouncy dudes, man. They got that jelly suspension. Come on, two more vehicles. Where's the other one? Oh, wait, no, we're down to the last one. Am I actually going to win a pursuit by disabling all the police cars? Oh, he's busting me. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Get your ass over here. He's trying his best, man. Come on. Got him. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Oh, man. That was funny. That was so funny. All right, I'm going to look up this freaking crate. Carbon own the city bonus crates. All 30 crate locations. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, you're shitting me. Wait, where the hell is that? Is it over here? It's right fucking here. Are you... You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Okay.
It's literally just in the road at a tunnel on that highway. I am shitting and farting, shitting and farting. Yeehaw. <laughs> no. No come. Excuse you. Here? No. Here. Fun box. Fun box. literally just inside this tunnel. <laughs> Allegedly. The video could be lying to me. And not showing them in the order that I think that... Alright, I think the video might be lying to me. <laughs> They might be showing these in a different order. Yeah, they're definitely showing them in a different order. God damn it. Alright. Fucking bastard. Uh, they're, like, listed by their number. Like, they are not numbered, but they're listed, uh... Like, on the, uh, the map screen. Okay. Hang on, we're we're heading to the Hmm. Did I get that one? I'm kinda sk I'm skipping through this video to see because of, of the ones that I know I definitely have found. Alright. I think I might be... I'm going to check every freaking... ramp here. Definitely got this one. Yeah, definitely got it. Okay, never mind. Got that one. Got that one. Definitely have that one. Did I get that one? Found another maybe. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta deal with something. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was easy. Got 
damn, they didn't even try. Didn't even try. Cr incredible. Pretty sure I got. Oh! No stand. Ever just do a stop in a Lamborghini Murcielago? Pretty sure I got this one. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, we're still checking. Hmm. Another potential candidate. Alright, where am I? In relation to this shit. We Look, if it has to be anywhere, it's definitely in this area. Not this way, though. We're doing great. Okay, I already got that one. That one. I get that one. Up to the north here. Oh god. The wall. Aha! Here it is. This is the one. All right. Found all the bonus crates. There we go. I did it. All right. Where's the nearest uh, brew house? A five hundred dollar reduce. Well, to be fair, it was like listed as crate one, so it, it, of course it was going to have nothing in it for very little cash. All right. I'm also going to look up. Mm-hmm. Alright, so just to confirm, we've now found all 30 crates. Yeah, this is the last one. Alright, I got a list of... crew members. Take a look. Carter, Dylan, we got Marcus, we got 
Vita, we got Crunch, Origin, we got Sly, we got Juice, we got West. Yeah, okay, those three missing spots are just like the bench spots. All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna stop the timer. Yeah, I kind of wish Sarah joined the crew at the end of the game. Missed opportunity. I'm gonna save. We're gonna check out our spoils. So, 100% of the game, game over. We've owned all districts. We've won every race in every territory. So, and we found all the bonus crates. Here's our career stats. No losses, wink. I definitely lost some races. Alright, before I actually go through this, let's see. Okay, I've unlocked all the art. Good. That was, that was the other big thing I wanted to check. Um... Didn't recruit more than required to. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense, boo. I didn't think about that. Well, there we go. Um, your thoughts on in these cars coming to GT7 Thursday? I'm cool. Love, I'm, I'm glad that the game's continuing to get new content. I don't know. So that's, that's all I got. More cars, hell yeah. Anyways, 100% race win percentage because apparently it doesn't count a loss if you restart the race after finishing. Just funny. 145 rival car takedowns. I thought that'd be more. But I guess not. And we only did 10 pursuits. For a total of 26 minutes. Never got busted, because the police in this game are laughably easy. And there's my crew. I didn't max out everybody, but it does, also doesn't fucking matter. Anyways, I guess with that, let's check out um, the art gallery. Check out all the art we unlocked. Through crates and also respect bonuses. So some of this is concept art, like evolution of the crash. Look at that underside of this car. Again, the art in this game is fantastic. I love this game. The art in this game. Concept art of the graveyard scene. Shout out to Sarah's scarf, by the way. She's got the badass anti-hero scarf that just flows in the wind. Speaking of... Sarah Style 1. That one on the right, though. Sarah could have been a goth. I would have been in trouble if they made her a goth. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, more concept styles. Hmm. Interesting. Car they Carter could have had a beard. Damn. Carter could have been a white dude with a beard. Coasty City or Coast City? Sun oh, okay. So it's called Coast City in this game. Also, look at that. Uh, and the top left of the uh, the image, there's like a uh, a um, early version of the game logo.
Poor boy. Need for speed arson. Yes. Hey, Sarah. I mean, Sarah still clears because she's got the exposed midriff pants combo. Ooh. Be still my heart. Oh, hey, poor boy. I guess I think this is from the opening scene of the crash mountains. Ooh. Mixed style. What flavor of douchebag shall we make mi uh, Mick? More poor boy art. Layla style. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, uh, left one. Left Layla. Who be still my heart. <laughs> Also, like uh, Ninja Layla on the right. <laughs> Sword lesbians. Hi, <laughs> right, MK. Hang on. Eh, not really. I was going to say, I think they took uh, one of those. Style concepts for Mick and put a, attach it to MK, but doesn't look like it. Anyways, he's a fed. Fuck him. <laughs> Ooh, more Layla concepts. Eh, these one don't do it as much to me. This was an early concept of X. Imagine this being the big bad badass. What is that nose, man? It's built like a rectangle. This is the least intimidating dude I've ever seen. This dude looks like he l listens simultaneously to Limp Biscuit and fucking Earth Brooks. <clears throat> Oh, MK concepts. What level of fed do we want him to be? Oh, dude, he had a skullet in one of those? Bruh, skullet, MK. Hey, look, it's Mick, the abusive piece of shit, apparently. Mother. <laughs> the sirens are definitely lesbians. They definitely do things to, to, uh, together. Other than drive cars. Definitely. <laughs> Commercial city. The coast city or commercial city, or, or, or are there two different cities? Roof house concept. Okay. Well, it actually had been like a garage instead, or like a garage place instead of just random places. I put swords in my mouth. <laughs> Jesus, Kara. The Fatal Race. Fatality. There's X. Hold up. Does he have mixed watch? Hang on. Does he have that? He's, does he have the watch? Hmm. Interesting. Crimson Warehouse. 
Can we talk about Sarah faking her own death, by the way? To protect, to make sure I, to get me to stop wondering about my brother's death. Can we talk about that? Inner city. This art is sick. Early X sketch. I'm so glad they did not put a cap on X. That would have made him like 99% less intimidating. Like for real. God, he's small. What if X was slender and looked like a bitch? <laughs> Marcus. Is that a New York Knicks hat? Or New York, New York Yankees hat? That looks like the New York Yankees logo on the hat. Vaguely. Sort of. That is a Yankees hat. That's incredible. Early Carter sketch. Looks like a rough uh, Jesus greaser. The shipyard. Ooh, I like these art evolution from like concept sketch to final render. <clears throat> That's sick. Man, the detail on his eye though. Holy shit. And his earring. Warehouse evolution. Police! Hey look, it's police cars that they don't actually use in the game. <laughs> They're also being useful. Instead of just dying. Coast City Streets. This art is cool. Ambience. Ambiance. The muscle cop car. Um, the two further from the frame look like the muscle car, but the the one closest to frame does not. No, the muscle car was here. I've I've had a I had at least one chase with the muscle cop car. All four of the, the cop cars that are in 510 are in this. The crash. <clears throat> Can we talk about how well drawn the underside of this car is? That took effort. That looks sick. They even drew a catalytic converter. That's awesome. No escape. Oh, this is Buddy. Carter about to beat this dude's ass. You think Carter's still in that chair? Hey. Did you forget something? I'm still here. Hello? <laughs> oh my... Oh. Freaking buddy. Even in official artwork, he's a scared little bitch. Hear that? I can't tell if he's posing or if he's scared. Honestly, could be both. Also, I just noticed the Omega. Apparently, he likes Omega symbol. He's got it on his jacket and his shirt. Posing, okay. Ooh, evolution of the crash art. Sparse go dummy. I think that, yeah, that's all the art. Okay. And that is, uh, that's everything, I think.
So that was a need for speed. Carbon owned. Oh, yeah, I never looked at the EA tracks. See what's in here. Oh, hey, Eagles of Death Metal. <laughs> I love how they're called the Eagles of Death Metal, and they're just like what a generic rock band. Funny. Ooh, a carbon exclude. Gary Newman. Okay. Interesting. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Yeah. I don't remember anything about this soundtrack, unlike Most Wanted and Underground. Like, I don't remember a damn thing about this game soundtrack. Oh, hey, a Junkie XL remix. Oh, is there an artist named Part 2? The fuck? Pharrell. Priestess. Roots Manuva. Part 1 was taken. Spank Rock. From the album Yo 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 Yo. The presets. The vacation. Tiger. Tiger Ra. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, it's like the one song I do recognize, but not because of the video game. I actually really like this song. No, oh, another Junkie XL remix. Okay. So out of this game's entire soundtrack, the only song I recognize is Joker and the Thief. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Well, that. Yes. That concludes part three of our uh, Need for Speed PSP adventure. So, Carbon, own the city. What a crazy story. <laughs> what a crazy end to the story. I almost died. Crash. My brother did die. I have amnesia. I must find out how my brother died. Turns out, I killed him. <laughs> it was me. No, I can't say that. It was me. Oops, I killed my brother. The freaking reveal at the end is like, yeah, you killed your brother. Also, everyone hated him. Also, he was super abusive, especially to you. Also, he was even abusive to me, his girlfriend. Anyways, let's kiss in the sunset. <laughs> What a what a crazy crazy game, with a crazy story. This was quite a departure, <clears throat> in a way, from uh, Underground Rivals and Most Wanted Five One Zero. Like, again, I kept saying like the police were nothing compared to Most Wanted. Um, they were also you know completely secondary. Uh, there were no police interaction in the races in this game, unlike every race in 5.1.0. But the police were easy to take out when you did see them. The, having free roam was really freaking cool, even though there wasn't a whole lot to it. Again, you could occasionally get fuck around with the police or occasionally find another racer on the track. Um... But other than, like, finding the crates and getting the extra respect for the um, extra artwork from the pursuits and stuff, there really wasn't wasn't much of a reason that you free roam. Or then you just wanted to drive around a smaller portion of Rockport for Most Wanted, which... Pretty cool. I like that. I like that they took an established map. Kind of repurposed it for this game, still trying to make their own, build their own map. 
Um, I like that. The car list was pretty interesting. The, the Evo being a starter car was hilarious, especially since the WRX was like mid game. Um, so they nerfed the shit out of the Evo. Um, uh, cash definitely wasn't as abundant as it was in most wanted, but like I still was able to. You know, after I would beat, like, a crew, I was able to, like, buy another car, soup it up, and trick it out, and do whatever I wanted with it, and have money left over, so that's, that was nice. Um, the crew system was cool. Uh, the assassins were annoying because they just refused to drop their spike strips most of the time. And the brawlers weren't very useful because this game didn't really have a big enough difficulty spike where I needed a brawler to take out somebody in front of me, and if nobody was in front of me, the brawler literally would just stop what they were doing and just drive around. Um, the crewmates in general, the way they their AI was in this game, where instead of instead of being like active participants in the race, their entire existence was to just aid me. Um. Would I ever consider NASCAR on PSP? Absolutely. I mean, I have it on my shelf. Um, but yeah, they didn't really feel like part of the race. They were just like extra things to help me out. Kind of like weapons, basically. Um, and that's the most evident in the drafter. Whenever you're using their draft and you reach the finish line, they'll actually break off the draft and slam on the brakes to make sure that you finish in front of them. Which was interesting. Um, I mean, I didn't dislike it. It's cool. Um, I don't really know. The track design was pretty cool. I mean, it was Rockport. But the tracks that were built on the map were pretty good. There was no one track that I got like frustrated with or anything. So that's a plus. Um. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. The physics also really made you feel like a crew boss. It did actually, boo, yes. Uh, the physics also, with, with the player cars actually being... Uh, the, the cars felt, like, way heavier in terms of interacting with other vehicles. Like, they weren't heavier in the sense that they handled worse and were sluggish. They still drove just as well as they did in the other two games. But when it came to collisions, they were... I felt... I didn't feel helpless in this game, unlike 510. Like, I could just push traffic cars out of my way. I could beat the shit out of the police. Um... <clears throat> I could fight back. I wasn't hanging. I wasn't fighting for survival. I was fighting <laughs> to win. So that's cool. Uh, overall, I think Team Fusion did a great job with this game. And this is definitely their best of the three so far that I've played. Like, this was such a good time. I liked it. But where we're going to end it so we're going to put this away um and for that that will conclude this let's play so um we're halfway through the the PSP need for speed uh, sextology uh, sex so I guess, uh, thanks for watching this Let's Play. I don't know, I remember, I don't remember if I've already said that, but we'll see you in the next one. And plus, or more Need for Speed on the PlayStation Portable.